What's up, friends of the good wood? This is Manny, and welcome to the new Warbots update on the live server with a new Cannibal Reactor Titan module that increases your damage output of your Titan against other Titans by 40% per module. The Ao Ming can carry three of them, so you can have 100% damage increase against other Titans, and therefore you can make an anti Titan Titan. But at the same time, you're gonna, your Titan loses a lot of damage output, all damage boosts versus regular robots. So you won't be sniping other robots very easily anymore, but you can do this to other Titans. Now, in this video, I'm gonna explore with you guys, is it gonna be worth it? Is the Titan module uh, worth uh, switching for uh, the antimatter reactor that we have already been using so far. We're gonna find out, and if you like the content, ladies and gentlemen, you wanna see all the other update and uh, new content from the update, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and uh, hit that notification bell. We also have a giveaway going on on the channel right now where I'm giving away 100 Nebula drones. Uh, Nebula. Uh, so the tier 4 golden drone, the best one we currently have. In the top right corner is the video for you guys, so check it out. Uh, if you want to have still a chance to participate in this giveaway, okay? Now, um, he, let's crunch some numbers. Um, the enemy titan right there, or before we crunch some numbers, you see this titan over there, Pilot Kan Zutz, greetings to you, sir. Uh, his Ao Ming, I'm not sure if it's fully maxed, but it's really well leveled, and his weapons are maxed for sure. And we're gonna battle in a one-on-one -on -one right now. Let's go for it. You see, we're, I'm doing incredible damage output to him with 120% increased damage output. And I take him down almost completely with a full load. Now he's also getting hit by a couple of shots from the other Titan, but that was pretty much 98% was me, or 95%. And I have only lost like 50% in the process. Um, that means uh, maybe he wasn't fully maxed, but I think he was really well leveled. Um, but the thing is... And the downside is what you're gonna see now. He respawns a Fenrir. You see, there's a Fenrir on the ground. I'm targeting him, and look. I mean, I'm not even doing that much damage to him anymore, uh, because it turns out that you have 0% damage increase versus robots. You have 120% increase versus Titans, but 0 versus robots. And so... Well, while it's now it's worth for me to switch from the robots and just take on titans because this is where I do the real damage instead of the robots, right? So it's really only a one purpose robot now or one purpose titan that is incredibly good versus titans but very very bad compared to other titans versus robots now. So it's really it's something uh, to consider. Now uh, the antimatter reactor gives you 27% damage increase if you have it fully maxed, but against every target on the battlefield, not just Titans. So you get 81% increased damage versus um, versus all targets when you have three of them equipped, or you get 0% versus robots and 120% versus Titans. Overall, to me, it seems clear that you get more from the antimatter reactor than you get from um, from the uh, from the cannibal reactor, you get just more out of the deal because you have overall more use and overall uh, uh, you know universal use for your titan. Whereas, of course, taking down titans, as you see right here, is incredibly fast with a cannibal reactor. So maybe this is something for clan players to consider. Those of you who have a really well working clan, who have um, a couple of Arthurs to block whatever there is, and then have a Nodens to heal everything, and then have maybe an anti-Titan Titan in the back to really snipe out Titans incredibly fast, uh, faster than any other Titan usually did. But that Titan will not be as good against robots. So maybe this is one way to use it for, but overall, in my opinion, definitely more use um, in, uh, in, in, in having the antimatter reactor. If you're playing publicly, you're playing alone, or you're playing, like, uh, w with one of your buddies or whatever, I think it, overall, the antimatter reactor seems more useful to me. And on the test server, I was worried when, you know, Pixonic tested the cannibal reactor, I was worried that they might go completely crazy on the numbers there and make this thing go, like, 80, 70, 60 percent damage increase against titans per module, which means you can, like, three hit kill a titan or whatever when you have them uh, but they didn't go crazy on it they actually went really moderate with the amount of damage output compared to the over to the uh, cannibal reactor 
And maybe that shows that the cannibal, re cannibal reactor is actually too good. Maybe, and that's something I, if you remember that, I have been saying this for a long time now, that 27% damage output increase per module, well, the Aoming can carry three of them, having 81% more damage is just too much. And I think that shows now, uh, because Pixani couldn't really go higher with Cannibal Reactor, making it 60, 80%, whatever, per module. That would have been ludicrous. You would, you would three-hit kill other Titans with it. But at the same time now, they went normal way, normal with the Cannibal Reactor, and it shows that the Antimatter Reactor is just way too good. In my opinion, the Antimatter Reactor should not never have gotten more than 10 to 15% damage increase per module. And then, it would have been worth considering, aha, do I want to have 45% increase against all targets or 120 only against Titans? Now suddenly you would catch yourself thinking and considering which one to get, but if you have 81% against all targets or 100% against only against Titans but zero versus robots, I think the, uh, the, the conclusion is relatively easy. I would personally go with the antimatter reactor. Um, but yeah, so this is my opinion anyways, just one, one man's perspective, and it would be interesting to hear what you guys think. Again, maybe you do want to make an anti-Titan Titan, and this is your thing, uh, then this is what you could be doing, right? Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna get killed right here, but before I do, I think I do a little bit of damage here to, yeah, to this guy. He misses with a rocket, his next rocket is gonna kill me though, and uh, I've only been able to do like 40% damage, uh, in this short time. Now... Uh, I'll be showing you a little bit of a sequence now where I play up to the Titan. We're gonna have a Titan uh, gameplay in a second where I spawn raid the enemy base. I'm hovering over the enemy base with the Ao Ming and I just spawn raid every Titan they spawn in a couple of seconds on this map, okay? But I'll show you first uh, a little sequence of the legendary new pilot for uh, the Scorpion robot. I will be jumping into three enemies at once. But since the legendary pilot gives me stealth for five seconds after jumping in, so they will not be able to shoot me. And I will be able to do a lot of damage to them without losing any health. Let's go for it. And there is going to be a full video coming where I show you no nothing but this gameplay. See that? They all fire over me and they can't shoot me really. Uh, despite three robots in one place. I did a lot of damage here and now I just teleport back. Boop. And I've taken next to no damage while they have lost a lot. And if I've had overdrive running, I could have done almost double the damage here. <coughs> Again, a full video with this will be coming up. We're the same as with the Titan here. I cut together just nice gameplay with the topic and present it to you. Uh, but in this case, I'll just uh, show you how I got the Titan too, right? We have it halfway ready and we're getting, go getting there soon. Jumping back in. A Strider is never a good thing to kill because it's so hard to hit him while he dashes left and right. Uh, as you see right here, we're gonna get him, but then we're gonna take a lot of damage uh, if I don't teleport away. And that's what we're doing, we're teleporting away. Increasing the volume here a little bit for the game. Alright, so now you see the overdrive is activated and we can do a ton of damage now with the Atomizer and Quarker. Again, something that in my opinion needs to be looked at, the damage output of Atomizer and Quarker is way too high. Uh, considering they never have to reload and they have perfect accuracy for the first couple of seconds after firing even up to 500 meters. You can kill people so quickly with those weapons now, especially with overdrive and um, yeah. The weapon is alternative-less, there's no alternative to it, if you want to have the best weapon in the game, these are the ones, and you're not gonna equip anything else, because nothing can even remotely get that good. I was wondering who got me suppressed all this time, now I found out who it is, it's this guy, with his, uh, <laughs> with his Nightingale. So, the Titan is ready, so uh, even though I do actually have uh, the, the Overdrive running and tremendous damage output, we're jumping into the Titan now, and I'll fly over to the enemy base and hover over it and just spawn right the enemy completely. And after seeing this, I, I really am, uh, you know, exp I would like to hear what you guys think of the Cannibal Reactor uh, in the comment section. I land here for a second so I can fly really high. From this point on, flying high will get me higher. And uh, yeah. Now, we're killing this leech in, in resistance mode because, you know, these weapons bypass resistance very well. 
Uh, and with the antimatter reactor, I would have probably only had to fire three times. Uh, and with the cannibal reactor, I had to fire six or seven times to kill that leech. But <laughs> this Nodens goes down very fast. Very fast. Uh, so, yeah. The damage output that we have in general, Titan weapons do good damage, right? So you could argue you don't need antimatter reactor to be dangerous versus robots. That's true. Um, but at the same time, firing only half as much to kill somebody is actually really interesting, right? So, we arrived above the enemy base now, and now it's time to wait for the enemy titans to sp start spawning in. And believe me, it won't be take it won't be long until they do. I'm fully loaded. Oh, there's the first one. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> bye bye, dude. He was also getting hit by the uh, machine gun homing on the other side, so a lot of damage there. I think he respawns an out uh, an out chun now on the ground, and I can't. Oh no, it's a leech. It's a leech that I can bypass the resistance, so uh, leechy boy doesn't really have much of a chance. Uh, and there's the out chun, and this is going to be a bit of a problem. And I'm sh I think I didn't hit him once. Look, I'm shooting him perfectly, but the weapons all mess. Thanks, Pixonic, for the update of making um, the plasma weapons or the energy weapons simply miss all the time now. Awesome! When you're flying above the target, you miss. Oh, now we have two Titans. An Arthur that I can simply bypass the shield by shooting on top of his head from upstairs. And now doing the same to the enemy Titan. Every time we hit, you see a massive damage chunk um, of the enemy Titan. They just killed the Aoming from our team, and so yeah, we're overall, we're we're gonna be uh, doing. Oh, another Titan spawned in. See that uh, that Arthur down there? I'm shooting on his head right there again, bypassing his shields. But my weapons are empty. I have to reload. So I went back a little bit over him, where he can target me, and then I reloading. Boom. We already killed four Titans or so, and meanwhile the enemy has three three robots down on the ground shooting me down and I have a bit of a cover here even I could probably even land here but the enemy team has lost and we won so yeah let's see how much damage we have done 4.2 million damage I think 2 million were with a scorpion or one and a half and the rest was with it was with a titan good damage output but in my opinion clearly the antimatter reactor succeeds um, the performance of the cannibal reactor and in my opinion this shows very well how much that the antimatter reactor is just too good. There is no no way to make the cannibal reactor good in comparison to the antimatter reactor without going completely insane on the cannibal numbers, you know? Uh, so yeah, definitely uh, what I said the whole time, antimatter reactor should have done between 10 and 15% fully maxed instead of 27%. And that's now the proof that I was right all along. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can hit for more. Thanks for being with me. You guys are awesome as always. Money signing off. Bye-bye.